on my backpack. Well, hello there. My name is Theodore James Fairytale. But you can call me TJ. I live in a town called Suburbia with my mommy and daddy and my baby sister, Bella. Suburbia is a really cool place to live. And there are lots of animals, especially bears. I'm five years old. And I always like making new friends. Would you be my friend? I hope so, because I love sharing stories with my friends. This story is called My Big Birthday Surprise. My fifth birthday was a day I'll never forget. I was inside with Mommy and Daddy and my baby sister, Bella, when the doorbell rang. Ha! <laughs> Even the doorbell sounded happy that it was my birthday. We opened the door, and outside was the most bare, enormous box I had ever seen. It was so big that it took me, Daddy, and Mommy just to get it inside. Little Bella's eyes grew as big as saucers when she saw it. Mine! Mine! She called out. Daddy said, Hmm, there's a note attached. It says, To Theodore, Happy Birthday. Wow! I was so excited, I could barely stand still. I leaned over and sniffed at the box. But all I could smell was a box. I put my ear to the box and listened, but all I could hear was a box. What could be in there? And who was it from? Do you have any ideas? Would it be a rocket ship that could really fly? Or would I find a super fast go-kart inside? Or maybe it was a giant dragon egg just waiting to hatch. Mommy said, Oh, my little dreamer bear, you'll find out soon enough. Just then, the doorbell rang again, and I ran to the door. Hooray! It was Grammy Bear and Grampy Bear. I gave them both bear hugs, and then Grampy Bear asked, Any special deliveries today, Theodore? He gave me a wink, and I knew the box was from him. I thought, it's gotta be the rocket ship. And I asked, can I open my present now? Daddy said, cake first, then presents. Now, I love birthday cake as much as the next bear, but I just couldn't keep my mind off of the box. I was sure it was gonna be the go-kart. Zoom! I blew out my candles, and we all had some cake. Then Mommy said, Well now, TJ, I think it's about time for presents, don't you? Finally! We all gathered around the box and unwrapped it. Inside, we found a big old wooden chest with shiny metal handles and a big lock. That must keep the baby dragon inside, I thought, just in case he hatches early. Grampy Bear pulled an old key from his pocket and gave it to me. Go ahead, Theodore, he said. I held my breath, unlocked the chest, and opened the lid. Whoa! There were a bare zillion things inside! There was a pirate hook, a camera, a trumpet, and some stuff that I didn't even recognize. I wondered why Grampy Bear had given me these things, and I think Mommy and Daddy were puzzled, too. Daddy brought the chest up to my room, and Mommy went to make my special birthday dinner, Blackberry Surprise. Mmm, my favorite. I said, thank you for the present, Grampy Bear. But what is all that stuff? He whispered. Theodore, follow me. I want to tell you a secret. Do you want to hear the secret too? I followed Grandpa.
teddy bear up to my room, and he cleared his throat. Uh, Theodore, this is no ordinary chest. This is a story box, and there isn't another one like it in the whole world. You see, Grammy Bear and I have traveled all over the world, and we've seen many wonderful things. Whenever we had an adventure, we brought something back as a keepsake and put it into the story box. We opened the box and looked inside. He said, everything in the story box has a story just waiting to be told. I reached into the story box and picked up a shiny bell. Even this, I asked. Let's see, he said. Gravy Bear told me to hold the bell in both paws. Then he told me to close my eyes and say this special rhyme. With this object that I hold, there is a story to be told. When I said the rhyme aloud, the strangest thing happened. Suddenly, I smelled the salty air of the ocean. I even heard seagulls. When I opened my eyes, we were standing on a boat. It was so foggy, we could barely see our paws in front of our faces. Now I remember, Grampy Bear said. This is from our whale watching trip. But I don't remember all this fog. The captain of the boat appeared. He said, I am sorry, but we're stuck here until the fog clears. If we move, we might bump one of the whales. Oh, no! We were going to miss my special birthday dinner. But then I remembered the bell, and I had a bear brilliant idea. I told the captain that we would stand at the front of the boat and ring our bell. The whales would hear it and move safely out of the way. The captain said, Great idea! Let's give it a try! Just then, I saw a whale coming out of the fog. It was gigantic! I rang the bell as hard as I could. With one giant swoosh of its tail, the whale swam away, making a splash so big it soaked the whole boat. Grampy Bear laughed and said, oh, Thanks, Mr. Whale, but I already had my bath today. <laughs> Grampy Bear's so funny. We continued slowly through the fog, ringing the bell every time we saw a whale. And every time, the whale swam safely out of the way. Thanks, whale! Hmm, my arm was getting tired from all that ringing, but we made it out of the fog. A little soggy, but safe and sound. It's a good thing we had that bell. Grampy Bear said, That was some great thinking. And then he lifted his nose and sniffed the air. Do you smell that, Theodore? I closed my eyes and sniffed. It smelled like blackberry surprise! My birthday dinner! Yummy! When I opened my eyes, we were back in my room! I heard Mommy calling, TJ, Grampy Bear, dinner's ready. There's one more thing you should know about the story box. Grampy Bear said. Then he told me that I can add my own keepsakes to the story box, too. A keepsake? Hmm. How about my birthday hat? I asked. Grampy Bear nodded and then told me a rhyme to say when I put something special into the story box. I placed this keepsake in the box. A future story it unlocked. Let's say it together. I place this keepsake in 